video. Today we're meeting Eric and Robin. Hi Bob. Hey Bob. <laughs> and they are in this really nice shuttle bus. Uh, so my kind of my standard question to ask uh, in uh, at all window, when, videos is How'd you end up in the desert in the middle of nowhere in a shuttle bus? I mean, that a little odd? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, Especially coming from Wisconsin. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, uh, we, well, we traveled a couple of years ago. We took a nice trip to, to France and uh, discovered that uh, working 40 hours a week and grinding it out day after day and with the same old, same old just wasn't working. And uh, so we were trying to think of a different way uh, to go and we were thinking about tiny houses and things like that and we thought, well, why not have a tiny house that we can take with us and travel around the country and so um, we, and then we uh, watched some Bob Wells videos. <laughs> it happens. And, and yep. find out Quite and, a few, as a matter of fact. Got a lot about a lot of information on how to do it. And I mean, really, honestly, yeah. we learned a lot about you know how we can do this and how it's possible. And um, yeah, it's and not we started looking on super uh, crazy and yeah, looking online for different things and spotted this on Craigslist. Got a really good deal on it. And uh, uh, last winter and worked this last spring and summer to get it uh, remodeled and set up and. On, on the road as of Labor Day, uh, 2018. Yep. So, newbies. Okay. That's real newbies. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of newbies out here now. Yeah. yeah. A lot yeah, of them coming true. out. Yeah. And you're young. Uh, you're not uh, on pensions. No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Not yet. And how are you supporting yourself? Uh, well, doing work on the side, uh, remodeling vans, as a matter of fact, uh, as we talked about, and. Uh, um, also using a little bit of IRA money that uh, we're having to dig into a little, a little bit, but uh, yeah, but uh, you know, until we get all situated and get moving and kind of get our budget worked out for typical months, we'll uh, we're you know going pretty good. And we're hoping to you know I'm hoping to find that my job doesn't really didn't really translate to the road very well or digital, but I'm I'm hoping that I will uh, um, get some new skills going and you know be doing some other stuff and be able to make some money also on the road, maybe in a creative way as well. Yeah. Yeah, she does floral design and graphic design and all kinds of great design. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if you can use some of those. Skills. It's a long time ago, but maybe it'll <laughs> maybe it'll come back. So you're supporting yourself on the road, and what was your job uh, before? Well, I was yeah, I was a, a remodeling carpenter for uh, almost 30 years, uh, doing uh, residential remodels, and uh, uh, got a chance to. Uh, learn a lot of good skills that translate nicely into uh, doing uh, work in vans and buses and cars and things. So uh, seeing if we can translate all that into, uh, you know, helping people create nice, comfortable little uh, vans and uh, buses to live in. And of course, it's you guys supporting yourself out on here on the road, just like we all are. Mm -hmm. yep. And so you're charging. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, yep. Can you give us an idea of what it would it cost? Yeah. Roughly, I mean, I know it's impossible to answer. Right, right. Well, we do. I do a time and material, and just fifty dollars an hour typically is uh, the general rate for folks. Uh, at a little, you know, sliding scale occasionally, if people are uh, in a little bit tougher, you know, situation. I'm not, you know, totally set on that that number, but uh, uh, that's kind of the typical number that we've decided that uh, works out for covering all of our expenses and everything we need to do. So. Um, and again, we don't usually charge for uh, markup on material or anything like that. So it's just just the labor, and uh, you know, hopefully, you get uh, again some nice designs for people and help people, uh, you know, get a nice, comfortable space to live in. And how can they contact you? Uh, easiest way is email is um, mubridnav at gmail dot com. Uh, <laughs> you know, again, that's a weird one. M o o b r e d n a v at gmail.com. It's Vanderboom backwards. That's right. My name it's is Vanderboom. Vanderboom is his name. Of the tree Vanderboom. So, <laughs> yep. We just, uh, easy one, go backward with it. Very easy, yes. And then our YouTube <laughs> yeah. is Wanderboom, which is just Vanderboom with a W instead of a B. So that's right. Yep. Wanderboom. Okay, very so. good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so you uh, do van builds and you're an, a lifetime uh, Finnish carpenter. I bet you look yep. your van looks pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, would yeah, so. I think so. I, I like it. Uh, it uh, we, you know, we really wanted to make something that was comfortable all the time. You know, you see a lot of people that, um, uh, you know, they, they were real cramped, tight spaces, and we wanted it so that we could, if you know, if we have three, four days of rain or you know whatever, we can actually hang out in there and be comfortable. And and then I had materials, uh, some cedar and some walnut that I had from years and years ago from an auction that I, I'd been dragging around with us forever, and uh, finally had. Time, opportunity yeah. to, to put it to some good use so uh, right I think we did yeah. well why don't we go inside and take a look all right, all right. sounds good okay cool. okay so tell us a little bit about your van okay uh, it is a 2005 Ford e350 super duty um, 
a six liter diesel engine. Um, we got a really good deal on it. Um, it was only $3,000 and it was only 118,000 miles on, a, on that diesel. So um, I know some people have issues with the six liter, but uh, I know as long as you keep it clear, uh, keep the coolant good, everything should be fine and we're gonna keep a, keep a close eye on it. It's been great so far. Yeah, uh, we've had a, powerful a few, engine. It few minor great. issues, but, uh, but more tires and a couple other things that we had to deal with. Yeah. on our short journey so yeah. far, but not but, too uh, bad. Yeah, it's been really nice. All been solvable. So. And a good size, you know, the from the driver's seat to the back inside is about 13 feet, and it's almost seven feet across on the inside as well. So it gives us a, uh, the ability to put our bed um, perpendicular across the back. So we got plenty of room, and I'm six foot two, and Robin's almost six feet tall. So um, we wanted to be able to to have our bed going the uh, across the back rather than uh, taking up so much space coming forward into the into the van. So and there's a, it's also so high that there's no space issue with Eric's being too tall or we feel like you know there's a lot of head space in there. Yeah. And yeah. the way that Eric designed it and we the the material that we used I think made the ceiling seem even lighter than um, than it could have been. So yeah. Okay, let's go on inside. All right. Well, the first thing you think is how wonderful the, uh, the the wood is. Really wonderful wood. Man, this is just some really fine, fine carpentry here. <laughs> so go ahead and give us the uh, nickel tour. Okay. Well, um, again, uh, two counter sp countertops. Um, this is uh, some of the walnut I was talking about. I had these great big walnut slabs that we had dragged around for over 25 years from an auction and, <laughs> and i kept uh, asking why are we dragging those around for yeah, 25 years and we now... put the, the two-part epoxy resin on there that gives it that really beautiful depth and the glow to it um, it is stunning yeah isn't that amazing and then eric also yeah. made this table too which the is same thing the back edge here. Is the walnut yeah. and then this is some reclaimed uh, redwood yeah. that we had that's really stunning as well. Yeah, and so just really nice. Some of the walnut on the edges there. And then this this is all of the cedar, and it's it's actually uh, clear select cedar, and it's uh, what they call five quarter, so it's over an inch thick. And uh, I, I got all of these, all of the cedar for all of this at an auction years ago. So um, this is actually one board running across here, so the grain continues across. And same with these three here. Um, and then all the drawer fronts as well are, are one board. Each one has a continuous board running across each one. So, and you have more of the that stunning uh, yeah. countertop here. Yeah, the walnut. Yeah, I love that corner over there with the uh, the, the burl. Yeah, that yeah, burl. That yeah. And more of the cedar running one direction on the counter. On yeah. The yep. Drawers. Yep. Just gorgeous. And there's here's our hidden fridge. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We have yeah. That. The winter 65 quart fridge freezer. That's oh yeah, so uh, two slides. compartments. Yep. Once you, can you pop those open? People sure, yeah. can see what uh, it's actually yep. a fridge and a freezer. Yep, yep. it's got yeah. the deeper side. We're using here. it as two of the two fridges right now because that's how it, it's, it, we need it. You know, so you can change. You can have mm -hmm. the, the bigger one as the freezer if you want. You can do whatever you want. So uh, separate thermostats. Yep, yep. separate uh, compressors. So we can, you can make ice in these. We've done it. It's um. It's great. It's, it works wonderful. We we love it. it um, it's been great. Yeah, and it plenty of plenty of room too. Yeah, uh, plenty we were, of space. I was surprised. We were a little worried, but it's been fantastic. For uh, we just have locks that we put on so when we travel, and then we can go and like it goes away. Yeah, nice. And you know, a lot of people have issues about keeping drawers closed. You know, and and I we were there's all the different me mechanisms and and the different devices people can come up with, and I I just wanted something a little more simple. And so I had this paracord that I bought, and I made these pulls from the same walnut that I had from here, and I just designed them so that there's a, a space there, and then I just used small pieces of paracord, and that basically just snaps right in place there, wow. and it just keeps them from flying open when we're driving around. I think it has kind of a nice, elegant little look to it. I, th I agree completely. Looks really nice. Nice. So, so your bed is, you said it's crossed, so it must be back here. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. This is the lounge area yeah. right now as we keep it uh, when we have the table all up and everything. And uh, A lot can... of people do a higher bed because they want more garage space. Um, but I just, I just did not want a high bed because I don't like the feeling of having your, feeling like your way, like your head's like right by the ceiling when you're sleeping. So right. 
you as know. well as the fact that with again with this shuttle bus having all these windows we really wanted to have the ability to to be able to right. sit and look out and yeah, you know be able to go to gorgeous national parks and all the beautiful places in this country and be able to see what we're where we are you know and really get a good look at what's going on out there but um we have this great lagoon table leg that um a lot of people have it's, let me get back there so that just swings completely yeah, in and out so of your way. Yep. Yeah, man maneuvers really nicely. Really nicely. And so it's great for a space like this. It comes off super easy. So all we do is take it off. It comes, so it has this, that, and then it has the thing that it comes on. And so when we come to go to bed, we have a whole thing. We just put it in the front seat of the van. And an interesting little detail on that too. If you notice, the plate on it is actually not centered uh, on the middle of it. You know, you naturally assumed you'd want to put it right in the middle, right. but offsetting it makes it so that when we spin it around, there's times when it'll be closer one way or another, and it gives us actually more flexibility when we spin it uh, to make it work in different ways for us. Cool. So a nice little uh, detail. So and and that thing that just pops right off and goes right away? Off. Yeah. yeah, it has a nice little plate. It's a little, attaches. just a loosening lock mechanism, kind of. And it, you buy the arm just exactly like that. Yeah, yep, you yep. buy the arm. It comes with yeah, the, this plate. You can get a, a second plate if you want to be able to mount it into a, into another space. Go, go on. Yeah, nice. But yeah, these are great. <laughs> but they're just really you nice tables. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got this on eBay for like 189, so yeah, which was a good deal. About 180 ish. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you have uh, uh, your bed must come down and and become. Uh, your couch must fold down in to become the bed. It does, yeah. So it's really easy, actually. Just come across like this. So it's kind of a standard yep. tongue and I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. Tongue, <laughs> slats, uh, yeah, slats, finger, yeah. yep. finger slats. slat. So just alternating slats that slide yeah. in and out. Let me show you one it's other very thing. Simple. There is a one. Yeah, and we can open it up. You know, a lot of these are, are very fixed, but then you can't, you know, it's hard to access underneath. Um, so what I did was, um, I'm going to yeah, uh, flip this guy around. Put that one over there. And the big one comes all the way off as well. But I put a piano hinge at the back of it. When it's all the way closed like this, there's a little wooden slat on the bottom down here. And then there's a piano hinge here at the back, so the entire thing can oh open. Oh my. That way. Oh, that is very sharp. And yeah. that's where we keep our and blanket, that's our, and blanket our, sheet. our sheets, and our backup clothes, and all kinds of other, our main stuff that You'll we, uh, the stuff we aren't typically wearing or needing to easy access to, but... Even though it's super easy access and we get in yeah, every day. But that's uh, just a handy way. But then, since it's, it drops down, but then the whole thing can still slide out. So, let me swing over this way here. So that sets right on that nice little ledge there. And then I think we've got two of the cushions. One goes like that. Let's see, is this the longer one on there? No, the other one's this one. So we won't do the whole the thing. But and they fit very snugly. And did you make the cushions? We did, yeah. Yeah, we uh, bought a king size memory foam mattress. They're super tight because I don't feel the creases at all when I'm sleeping on it. And, yeah. and it gives us basically, we, we cut the king size 16 inches off of it to give us the size of a queen size. <laughs> and, and then that gave us two of the cushions for the back. And then we cut the other pieces in the same size so that they fit as the back rests. But then also drop right in like this. And then you can kind of see too, we keep our, our sheet typically right on the back of the bed. We just kind of pull it off here and just roll stick it, it just sort of push it back and that way rather than trying to re get those corners in every single night we just kind of pull it right out from the back and also with the the old the handicap doors that are here it gives us a real nice spot for when it's in both table mode or even in the bed mode sometimes we can if it's warm enough we can open those doors right up and have a beautiful uh, sunrise or sunset views whichever way we face it beautiful yeah Huge amount of uh, storage underneath, a uh, huge bed, nice lounging area. You can uh, you can bring in a lot of guests. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. That's kind of what we're we're thinking. And then the other little, I just I also made it so that this side can adjust. This cushion can be removed, and this guy here actually can slide over <laughs> as well. So we can go right 
on out the door if we want to. Yeah, way. so it's an exit. Yeah. Entrance yep. exit. Open the door. There's another storage space underneath for Robin's a uh, bunch of her kitchen utensils and heavy machinery there that uh, we use uh, the uh, kitchen aid and a bunch of other good stuff. And then we also have this uh, nice little cutting board on the end as well so we can take care of the countertops. That is our lithium iron phosphate battery that we're uh, yeah we're, we're working on. We're trying to build, yes. We have to finish the uh, getting hooking up the all of the battery management system things all just needed need to be soldered together still but uh, once that's done, that'll be, be almost 400 amp hours of power in that. Wow. But yeah, so this can open up real nice and get our Thank Cody. Our beautiful views. So this is uh, this is just beautiful carpentry. I mean, it's just stunning. And yeah, I see you have an awful lot of nice artwork also. Yeah, we made room for our art. So we have this large painting that uh, was painted by a friend of ours, Mitchell Johnson, who it, it was a wedding present for us in 1992. And we didn't want to part with it, even though we wanted to have our van life. And so we designed around it. So that's why this <laughs> counter is significantly low, lower than this counter, which works fine for us because we're tall. And this is where we cook. So we have a, we use a camp stove. So when we take that off and put it on the counter, it's about the right size anyway. So it mm -hmm. actually worked out really well. Um, but So we have this big painting. We have some vases and stuff that are meaningful or that we... Um, have been passed down for generations. Um, another painting over here of Mitchell's that we um, that we kept. Rather than doing a lot of you know hardwired lighting, we did uh, we decided to use quite a bit of uh, battery rechargeable battery uh, stuff. So we got a lot of the little AAA rechargeable batteries, and we just use those in a lot of these little fixtures that uh, are easy to. Oh, you know, yeah. pop new ones I mean, in these you put in, these were the original lights from the bus, but then just put some LED bulbs in, and these are run off the solar. Those two are run off the solar. So, so do you well. have a uh, plumbing system? We have, yes, we have a gray tank system. Um, so this is our sink. We cut the, I cut that out of the countertop, and I just couldn't part with that beautiful yeah. piece of <laughs> wall. But it so. works good because we can store stuff in yeah. here when we travel. Yeah, when we're dra so. traveling, we can put some things in there and cover it up and have this to... With us. We decided on a nice big sink after I was had to be talked into having a sink at all, which I'm really <laughs> glad that I was talked into that. Well, because, we got the yeah. battery power there, and oh, you're just using your standard. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, just underneath that about about here, going under into that counter or into the closet. There's a 15 yes, gallon uh, water tank that we fresh uh, water tank. Yeah, our fresh water tank there. That that's all hooked up to. And then we have our trusty Berkey here that yeah. we put all of our water through to drink. At some point, we don't have a hot water tank now, but we were thinking we may do the small, you know, hot water heater. And so if we do that, this spins around, and we could always open that window up and pop it right out the window and How about uh, that? have our handy dandy shower right there and uh, right, right. Out the, right out of the front, uh, out of the faucet here. And so what uh, everyone wants, always wants to know is, uh, how do you go to the bathroom? Oh God. <laughs> The, yeah, our favorite have, topic. Yeah, yeah. Much talked about. We, we have, have our, our little dry bathroom. Oh, so uh, you actually have, uh, is this a regular toilet? It's actually a, a composting toilet. Composting. Um, that I made myself based on the sea head design or style. Um, and, uh, yeah, it works out really well. You know, it's got the, the separator. Uh, right, that's the that's the main function. Yeah, of, of yep, the sea separates. Head. There's basically a, a five gallon bucket and a one gallon wa milk jug or water jug, and uh, separates those things out. And then I, there's a, a, a shaft running down the middle of the five gallon bucket with a wand down there. So after you do what you do, you crank it around 15 or 20 times in the coconut coil that we have or core, core or yeah. coconut core. We put a little bit in there each time. Yeah. Okay. The next question everyone has to know: the burning question of the hour. <laughs> how do you take showers? Uh, that we're uh, Planet Fitness members, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and there's always, you know, again the uh, parks, state parks, county parks, and lots uh, of places to take you know, showers. I'm sure I know you've done a number of videos oh, on yeah. all those yeah. uh, uh -huh. yep. great locations that uh, truck stops and all the other good stuff. Two hundred years ago, the idea of having a shower every day was ridiculous. Oh, right, right. right. And I, don't oh, yeah. I honestly don't think yeah. it's good for you, for yes. your body, for yeah. your skin, and for your oils. Yep. Uh, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. So the and only other thing that we did is our crowded closet. So if anyone will have that has a yeah. closet, it will attest. Hard to see, but lots the, of hooks. The solar. Our is solar hookup is back there. <laughs> all of it for wiring and stuff. <laughs> Again, we've got we have two two hundred or two one hundred watt flexible panels on the roof that are permanently attached up on the roof. 
And um, again, right now we just are using one uh, 100 amp hour uh, AGM battery. But we're just limping and, um, along. It's yeah, barely... it's just barely enough. And so again, we're hoping to get that lithium iron phosphate one all worked out. And then we're going to have plenty of, plenty of power once we get that done. Well, Eric and Robin, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. It's gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> that must be wonderful to uh, just, you know, have have this much amazing handiwork around you while you live. <laughs> And all you out there, I hope you got something out of this, some wonderful ideas of uh, how beautiful your home can be, some uh, patterns to follow after. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks, everybody.